Great. Uh, good morning, everybody. Today is April 25th, last week of April, and this is our uh, Monday morning updates. So um, I will start with uh, Bill, and then we can go to Jim and then myself. So go take it away. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Vignani. Good morning, everybody. Um, since uh, school vacation was last week, I hope everyone is uh, back, excited to learn. Um, and enjoying the uh, beautiful weather we're going to have this week. And uh, so in that case, there's no uh, COVID number update for the schools this week. What we'll be doing is we'll be sending out a combined number, breaking it down for our uh, community on Friday of this week. Um, do have some news uh, I'd like to share, however, coming up this week. Uh, good news at the middle school. The juried art show is back. Uh, please drop by the Situate Maritime Center on this Friday, April 29th, anytime between 4 and 7.30 p.m or on Saturday, the 30th from 11 to three to experience some of the most wonderful pieces of art created by our Gates kids. Um, and wanna thank the, all the artists that participated and um, teachers, uh, Ms. Glover, Glover, Mahali and Ms. Roddy for their efforts in making this happen again. Um, also an exciting time of uh, firsts, for, firsts for a few years, uh, our middle school kids will be heading off to uh, Camp Borndale again. Um, group left this morning uh, for sixth graders and then for the week and then the next week the team B will go and so uh, this has been a 30-year commitment with our community so really excited to, to be back there and um, again thanks to all the teachers uh, including Mr. Fitzgerald, Mr. O'Sullivan, Mr. DiMatteo, Mr. Mulder and Ms. Gaziano for being the coordinators and for all those teachers and administrators that do drop down during the week should be a really great experience for our kids and, and wonderful opportunity to uh, reconnect and socialize. Uh, also uh, tomorrow evening at 6 p.m. in the pack will be our National Honor Society inducted, uh, inducting ceremony for our um, high school juniors and seniors. There's uh, roughly 100 students uh, from both junior and senior class going in, quite a large number. So congratulations to all those students, the staff, leadership of the high school, and uh, of course the family. So please enjoy that and thank you to advisors uh, Ms. Emerson and uh, Mr. Roberts, that should be an excellent ceremony tomorrow evening. Uh, school committee will meet tonight uh, for the first time, another first uh, in person. Uh, we'll be attempting to do a hybrid um, opportunity for folks. So the information was sent out, also available on the website to, uh, if you wanna zoom in, you may do that. Uh, if you're going to come in person, uh, it's meeting starts at 6 p.m. It's going to be in a new Situate High School Library Harbor Room. You enter the library and it'll be off to your right. So folks are welcome in person or to participate online. Some of the highlights for, for tonight, uh, we'll have our celebrative celebration of student learning. We'll be featuring the Cushing Elementary School. Um, we'll have what we've started tradition this year, the state of the schools. Uh, Hatherley School will be featured tonight, giving an update on the, all the great things happening there. Um, tonight, I'll be sharing my self-assessment and goal summary for the year which is a public opportunity to give feedback on the attainment and progress of my personal goals as district leader. And uh, a really interesting and important update uh, on our capital projects by Dr. Dutch with some exciting news on some uh, progress we're making on old projects and new projects that are coming to fruition. And we're really excited to share that with you all tonight. And that's all I have for today. Everyone have a great week. Thank you. Great, thanks, Bill. Lots Thank going you. on there. I remember those nights in Borndale. Um, a lot of fun, a lot of dodgeball. Um, I saw you smiling when that came up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Jim, over to you. I, I also spent a couple of nights in Borndale, so <laughs> I remember it well. Good luck to all the chaperones. We're going to be going down there with the kids. Uh, so let's start with our COVID numbers for this week. Uh, the Mavin data number was 18. That's actually down from 25 of last week. Uh, as Mr. Burkhead said, we don't have a full number for this week as the schools were not in session. Uh, so we don't have any number from the school, so we'll post that for next week. Our positivity rating was up to 3.96, up from 3.07. Plymouth County is at 3.53, up from 2.65. And statewide, the seven-day positivity rating was 4.56, up from last week's 3.98. Uh, what we've been talking about is keeping track of ICU patients and intubated patients. Uh, currently statewide, there are 25 individuals in the ICU with COVID. That's now from 37 of last week. Uh, and 12 patients who are intubated with COVID, that's down from 15 of last week. Uh, in addition, on the news this morning, the data from the wastewater treatment plant at Deer Island shows that the COVID numbers 
have actually gone down slightly the past week. So the numbers are kind of all over the place. What we do know is COVID is still here. It is still around. Uh, we will continue to say, if you haven't been vaccinated, please do so. If you've been vaccinated and haven't been boosted, get your booster. And if you're eligible for a second booster, you should go out and get that at this point. Uh, the vaccination is the best defense we have against serious illness, hospitalization, and or death from COVID. So uh, please go out and get vaccinated if you haven't done so. Springtime, so now we're keeping up with our water updates. Uh, the reservoir remained at 3.25 inches over, and TAC Factory Pond was still at plus 2.5 from last week. Average daily demand the past week was 1.084 million gallons per day, which is down slightly from the 1.110 million gallons the previous week. Uh, this, again, was mostly delivered from our wells. The water treatment plan last week only ran for one day, producing just under 300,000 gallons. Uh, that was mostly to run the plant and do our testing that we're mandated to do for the water at the water treatment plant. However, the manganese is up to 0 0.09, up from 0 0.075 in the reservoir. This is enough to cause discolored water going through the plant. That shouldn't be an issue right now as we're not running the plant that much. But as we get into the season and the plant starts running, uh, that high manganese level in the reservoir will cause discolored water to go through the water treatment plant. Selco is in town, our water contractor. They are working on Woodworth and Lanton Lanes, and we'll be starting on Brand, uh, Bradford Avenue today. Uh, this weekend, April 30th, uh, the Situate Sister City Committee will be celebrating the 10th anniversary of our friendship pact with Soucy en Brie, France. Uh, that celebration will be at 10 a.m. at the Situate Performing Arts Center at Situate High School. Members of the official delegation from Soucy en Brie will be on hand to help us celebrate as well as some of the host families who took in situated travelers uh, from the 2019 trip. French and American pastries will be served afterwards. Uh, so if you get an early start on Ship Shape Day, you can then go over to the Sushi on Brie celebration, uh, thank them for all their cooperation, and maybe have yourself a pastry. Uh, Ship Shape Day is this also this Saturday. Uh, I know Tony will talk about it a little bit just for the details though. Town Hall from eight to one, you can pick up supplies. And if you're in Hummerock from 8 to 1230, you can pick up supplies at the Hummerock Post Office. Uh, many people have gotten a notice. Uh, I was saving this for tomorrow night, but I know people got a notice uh, that Situate is coming to Hollywood. Uh, the Paramount Pictures film, The Finest Kind, <clears throat> starring Tommy Lee Jones, Ben Foster, Toby Wallace, and Jenna Ortega. Uh, and no, sorry, Tommy Lee will not be in town filming. He's the only one of those four people that I know, but he will not be here for the Situate filming. Uh, we'll be filming scenes on Edward Foster Road at a home there from May 2nd to May 4th. Uh, crew parking and the um, cafeteria setup will be in Peggotty Beach, the caterer. Uh, they will be out of the way. You'll still be able to use that parking lot. Uh, just for the record, if anybody's had the chance to watch a Hollywood movie be filmed, it is one of the most boring things in the entire world. So. Uh, we will have police out there controlling access to that part of Edward Foster Road, uh, but just know they will be there from May 2nd to May 4th. Uh, the rest of Hollywood, uh, there's a series called Houses with History. Uh, they will be filming in town starting on April 27th. They'll be at a house on First Parish Road and another house on Tilden, uh, keeping track of historic reservation, uh, preservation. Sorry, that'll be going on for almost six months off and on. Uh, you may see the crews around town doing B-roll shots over the next couple of weeks. And then Marriott Bonvi Hotels will be filming a commercial at the Lighthouse on April on May 18th from 6 p.m. to sunset to use in their commercial. So uh, we actually get these a lot. The finest kinds is a big one for us, but those smaller ones are fairly, norm, uh, fairly normal in town, different filming at different places. So you will see Hollywood, you will see filming. And I do warn you, it is one of the most boring things in the world to watch people uh, filming a movie. Once again, the golf course is open. Please get down there. Uh, we're gonna keep updating you until we get the a concession stand open. I know uh, the people from the Hibernian are working hard to get that open on the board's agenda tomorrow night is actually to transfer the liquor license to them so they can get up and start it. But they're making great strides. And we hope within the next couple of weeks that that'll be open for golfers and people get in there and start enjoying that really beautiful new facility. Uh, and finally, I know also Tony's going to talk about it. Uh, the Easter Rising dedication was yesterday. Uh, people want to see that at some point. I know today that Seth uh, we'll have that up on such a community television. People can watch that. And that's what I have for this morning. Great. Thanks, Jim. And I'll repeat a little bit of this stuff. Um, again, we have a selectmen's meeting tomorrow night. Um, no heavy lifting really on the, on the agenda, but one of the things that Jim brought up is trying to get 
uh, Widow's Walk restaurant up and going quickly. So good job there. Uh, ship Shape Day is the 30th. You know, everyone pitch in. Just pick up around your neighborhood if you want. All the fields, you know, there's a, a team there that coordinates different areas to pick up, but uh, we need a good turnout there. It makes a huge impact on the town. Um, Jim mentioned the Easter Rising ceremony we had yesterday. I want to thank John Sullivan for really, uh, you know, being the, the main force behind that and pulling that together. There's a great monument that's up next to the bandstand down in Cole Parkway. And we had a lot of um, representation from the Hibernias, um, from uh, Congressman uh, Keating, uh, and our local representatives were there as well. So that was a great event. Um, and again, as Jim mentioned, Susie Ombri, they're actually arriving today and they'll be here for the next 10 days doing various events um, all around New England. So um, um, if you see them, say bonjour. Um, and uh, what else did I want to say? Oh, uh, keep, uh, I want to thank everyone for going to the town meeting. We just wrapped that up. I haven't been on, we haven't had a meeting since then, but um, it was a good turnout. It was two days. It was longer than expected. There were some really emotional uh, topics that went through there. Um, and, uh, you know, it was it was colonial government at its best, right? We, we'd we like to see bigger turnouts there, but, um, but we got through it. And Jim Toomey did a great job. And all the boards did a great job. And, um, and we did get through it in about two and a half nights. So thank you for everyone that participated there. And lastly, uh, following our town meeting, we always have an election on May 21st is our election. It's from eight until six o'clock at night. Um, there's no one running against select board members, but I know in the school committee, there's a couple of um, uh, candidates that are running against each other. So pay attention, get informed about the topics and go vote. It only takes a couple of minutes. Um, one really important topic on there, there will be an override for about $50 million to, to uh, build a new water treatment plant. Very important topic, learn about it. It's important for our town, as Jim just mentioned, all the work we're doing, our existing one. Um, there'll be a lot of uh, information out there for you to read. But um, again, be informed and go vote. That being said, um, have a great week. And we'll see you uh, tonight for the school committee and tomorrow night for the select board.